When a customer shows up to your dealership and you approach them and you greet them and you got a smile on your face and the very first thing they say is, I'm not buying anything today. How do you handle that? What most salespeople do, they say, oh, okay, well, when you find what you're looking for, come find me. So they're telling the guests, hey, you go do all the work and then do some additional work to come and hunt me down. And it doesn't work that way. And as a matter of fact, the reason why most people say, I'm not buying anything today is because they know it shoes most weak or selfish sales professionals away. I won't even say sales professionals, sales people. Because only sales people hear a response like that in panic. Why are they panicked? Because they're not prepared. We know that this is one of the potential common responses from customers. So if you're not prepared on how to deal with that, I'm going to help you solve that issue now. The next time a guest, when you approach them and you greet them, making sure that you welcome them into your store, giving them your name, getting theirs, you know, writing it down, confirming if they have an appointment or is this their first time here. And then they say, oh, I'm not buying anything today. Don't waste your time. When they tell you I'm not buying anything today, say this. Of course, let's do what a lot of people do in your situation. Let's just make it an information day. That way, in the future, when you're ready, you got everything you need. So which one of our vehicles can I get you some information on? You see how we flipped it? They said, I'm not buying anything today. You didn't resist it. You didn't get disappointed and you didn't run away. You said, of course. It is an acknowledgement that you heard what they said, but it isn't a confirmation with a yes. It also isn't a rejection where you're pissed off and you're frustrated. It's just, of course, let's do what other many other people do in a situation like this. Let's just make it an information day. And then you go right back to your question. Which one of our vehicles can I get you some information on? Um, I like this. Awesome. Well, all I'm going to do is ask you a few quick questions and I'll get you all the information um, that you feel works best for you. Now, think about the verbiage that we said when we first started. We said, of course, let's do what um, other people do in situations like this. Let's just make it an information day. That way, in the future, when you're ready, you got everything you need. Now, which one of our vehicles can I get you some information on? You see, words have power. And in the automotive industry, it's like the slowest transitioning industry in the world. You know, they're using terminology today that they've been using way back in the 50s and in the 40s, literally. Okay, so when we know that people are immune to these type of uh, these types of of responses or questions, they're coming in prepared. A matter of fact, there are people putting out YouTube videos, Instagram and TikToks, giving people what they call sales hacks to be able to shoo off the weak salesperson so they can go, go about their day and shop your lot in peace. But you can't close what you can't control. But at the same time, you don't make any money by fighting and going back and forth for the person. So you just make it simple. Hey, I'm not buying anything today. Of course, let's do what most people do in situations like this. Let's just make it an information day. That way, at least when you're ready, you got all the information you need to be able to make a decision. So which one of our vehicles can I get you some information on? Now, when is the future? Five seconds from now, five minutes from now, an hour from now. So the future, we're not lying. We're just using broken down English in a way that is not displeasing to the guests. It doesn't make them feel uncomfortable. As a matter of fact, it also it actually is something so shocking than what they may have experienced in any other dealership. We can say, well, of course, let's just make it information day. Pressure down, defensive wall drops. And at the end of the day, Customers come in with their defensive with their defensive wall ten feet high, maybe three foot wide. Our only objective, as we take them through the process and guide them step to step, is to give them a good enough reason to lower their defensive wall low enough so that we can peek over in their backyard and see what's going on. As opposed to ten foot high, we may get it down to seven feet high. As opposed to three feet wide, we may get it down to one and a half. But that is the objective of taking them through the process and establishing a work in trust. You hear a lot of people say, oh, be friends and build relationships. These people have friends and family members before they come in. And you go into it trying to be somebody's friend, you can come across as creepy or that sleazy salesperson. You're not there to be their friend, but you are there to be friendly. So keep the main thing the main thing. Don't panic. They tell you, hey, I'm not buying anything today. Of course, let's do what other people do in a situation like this. Let's just make it an information day. Now, that way in the future, you know, when you're ready, you got everything that you need. So which one of our vehicles would you like some information on? And then you roll on about your process from there. Remember something, when a person's ready to go, they'll get up and go. There's no shackles. There's no chains. You're not holding them at gunpoint or at knife point. They're there by choice. So just continue to give them a good enough reason to make that good choice and stay 
and ultimately do business with you at your store. I'm Brian Maxwell, and I put these videos out. And if you're an owner of a dealership, management of a dealership, if you feel your team would benefit from these type of word tracks, understanding the psychology of selling much better, I highly encourage you and I invite you, shoot me a message and let's have a quick conversation. It's completely free. It only take us, you know, a few minutes for me to discover what's going on and to see how I can help if I even can. But we won't know unless we give it a shot. So I encourage you to shoot me a message. If you are interested, put interested in the comments. But if you want to stay more private and personal, shoot me a message. Other than that, I'm Brian Maxwell. Hope you enjoyed it. And I look forward to seeing you at the dealership.